You can also tweak the shot timing visual cue controller setting option to set the ideal release point that works best for you. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. One last tip for jumpers, make sure to explore the different shot animations available in the animation store to find the shot you're most comfortable with. And make sure you welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. It's time for NBA action. Tonight, it'll be the Boston Celtics going up against the Toronto Raptors. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. Here are the five for the Raptors. Barnes and Siakam will slot in at the small and power forward. Dennis Schroeder is out there with OG Ananobi. And it's Pirtle in at the pivot spot, adding the middle. And for Boston, the point in off guard are Brogdon and Brown. The forwards for him, Tatum and Porzingis. And it's Williams at the five spot. And Greg, with that to back games part of the schedule, how do teams feel getting into the latter part of that combo? like tonight. Well, these games can be especially taxing mentally and physically. At this point, it's a war of attrition and really, who can survive the night? Now, Ananobi. Inside. Here's Schroeder. Rejected by Brock. against Brown. He can't hit that top. Good D by Ananobi. Schroeder, left side. Back to Barnes. Over Tatum. Barnes can't get it to go. Ananobi against Brown. Outside Tatum. Porzingis, six feet out. Shoots over Schroeder, and the shot goes in from first depth, Porzingis. And, and nice use of size by Porzingis inside, able to practically play on top of the D. Back to Schroeder. The pass to one and over. Now, Siakam. Headed by Porzingis. Porzingis with the block. And he recovers it. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. for the Celtics. Pass to Brown. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Four shots, four misses, and you can sense a certain frustration building. Pass to Persingas. Over Schroeder, off target with a close range fadeaway. The Raptors have gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals here. Pass to Ananobi. And it's blocked by Brown. And that's what active hands on D gets you. Brown got just enough for that. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice. No doubt, Craig, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player, and this guy continues to improve. And JT scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on the finals team at just 24 years old. A moment here now to see the numbers for Jalen Brown. First quarter of the ball, almost two and a half minutes in. The pass to Siakam. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two.
juice. Spinning we know the list of players from Cameroon is short, but very talented. Yes, it is, Kevin. Pascal Siakam, one of the few players out of Cameroon. Another one, Joel Embiid. That's a lot of talent. And he makes the first. Though you get a lot of individual production out of Pascal Siakam. He's a total team player. He checks his ego at the door. Siakam hits them both. You know what you love seeing from Pascal Siakam is his confidence continuing to grow. And Kevin is Especially when it comes to scoring. Pascal understands how valuable he is to his team and how much they lean on him to step up on that end. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Her goal by Schroeder. Passes it to Anno. Siakam with it. Shot clock at six. Toronto, they come in off the loss to Washington. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game in. They didn't do that defensively. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. Celtics leading by six. In the 2016 and 17 draft, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. This is the free throw. And one outstanding things the Raptors do, Greg, they really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. And he's good on the second. Oh, G.A., the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they, they have a type that they're looking for. Block steal, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. And again, Toronto, no up. Austin leading by seven. Wants to get it to Tatum and does. And they pick up two. Tatum's got his second bucket of the night. And it's going to take more than that to stop Tatum. A wing who can score in so many different ways. Back to Schroeder. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Barnes. And off the glass. That one's good. A tremendous finisher and close. Scotty Barnes is physical and he's explosive. Schroeder against Brogdon. Let's the free fly. And again, Boston with the triple. Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high field goal percentage. Here's Barnes. An amazing finish. The hand right in his face. The paint is where Barnes is most dangerous. He attacks without hesitation. Right side Tatum. Fires the three. Does not find the mark. He's made two and missed one now. And so Siakam will bring it up for the Raptors. Trailing here by eight. Seven they met was in Toronto. He had really ratcheted up the pressure in their last matchup, getting steals and just creating havoc defensively. Their deep was just phenomenal in the last game. We'll see if they bring that same intensity again. And this is what you like about his perimeter deep. He never gave up and challenged 
the deep. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire place. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Performed well thus far this season with a 78% clip. You know, Greg, the way Malcolm Brogdon is used in the catch-and-shoot game, it makes that offense very difficult to stop. Well, he, he's a high-percentage shooter, doesn't go through many ups and downs, and when he doesn't have the look he wants, he's willing to get off the ball. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time, the whistle blowing. And Boston called for the foul. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Well, in my opinion, the way that the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. That free throw, no good. Ray talking about Jakob Pertl, it doesn't seem like he gets enough credit for his defense. I don't think he does. I mean, he's an excellent rim protector and rebounder and a big man who just takes pride in defending. Celtics making a switch here. Horford's checked in. That one misses. You talk about a guy who is hitting his stride. Jakob Pertl has grown into his own potential and is delivering on the floor. Now, here's Brogdon. He has six. And there's the bucket from Tatum. Those are starting to add up, guys. Up there. Last five baskets, three have been tripled. Toronto calls time out. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Achua, he's checked in for Purdue. And here is our 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's toughest defensive teams over the course of the last 10 games. The Raptors third. They have absolutely locked down the opposition during the last 10 games. If they keep up the good work, it will force other teams to change their game plan. Now, here's Ananobi. Still without a basket. The kick out to Barnes. It's good from long range. Bobby Barnes, three. Here's Brogdon. 11-point game. Outside Tatum. Again, the Celtics good for two. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. Schroeder against Brogdon. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Rebound by the Raptors. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look, but this is why we play the game. And the shot will not go from on and over. Celtics leading by 13. Tipped away. Here's Tatum. 35 points for him last game against the the line during that game as well and that's that's where he got a lot of those points Delano Benton's checked in for the Celtics and then for Toronto Chris Boucher's checked in for Siakam McDaniels comes in for Scotty Barnes and Trent subbed in for Ananobi down to the five on the shot clock here's Benton again the miss by the Celtics Raptors trail by 13 Trent adds a two-pointer and Tatum pulls it down Shane with the rebound. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Get there, get there. And here they come. Here's Brogdon. Great D on that shot, and it's off the mark. Toronto's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. And taken away by Brown. A finish, and finished off by Brown. Yeah, we're seeing some 
fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Now, here's Trent. No scoring in this one. Trying to the hoop. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from Brown. To the paint. Horford in the post. Covered by Achua. Horford, no luck. Raptors trail by 15. And it's Trent in the corner. Schroeder surveying the floor. Shoots over Brogdon. And it's Schroeder missing. I mean, he's staying aggressive. Tried to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. And look at that Tatum game. You know, he really doesn't have a weakness. He can give it to you in a variety of ways. This is his first chance on the line tonight. And to look at his percentage from the line, you see him at 89%. That's an indicator of what a consistent stroke he has. Shoot two. First one falls for him. GA, is it me or does it feel like we've had more parity in the league the last few seasons? Well, Kevin, the playoffs have been pretty hard to predict lately. I, I will give you that. There's been only one repeat champion in the past decade. It's a competitive league. The Celtics making a switch here. Primo's checked in, and so he hits both. Well, it was the Boston Celtics, their last game a loss to the Pistons. Yeah, in that one, the shot selection wasn't terrible, but they had to tighten it up. It did not happen. They never really got into a rhythm, despite trying a few different things. Sometimes, it's just not your night. And here is Tatum. After Gary Trent Jr. made the last three-pointer. And Boucher sends it back. A nice shot by McDaniel. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. A 12-point game. To the inside. Brown kicks to Tatum. Six on the shot clock. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists tonight. They have laid on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Here's Trent. Count it. His second Gary make in four Trent attempts. Jr. Gary Trent Jr. is six foot five and solid, muscling his way through. Boucher against Tatum. Horford trying to free himself up. Tatum, that's good. Tatum's got 17. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Trent with it. He has five. Ajua, no good. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. Here's Benton. Nothing on the board. The kick out to Tatum. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. Fourth team foul. The Celtics have shot 80% from the line tonight, going four of five so far. Three shots. Three shots. And he's good on the first of three. Some changes for Boston. Makai Luke's checked in for Jalen Brown. And it's Pritchard in for Delano Banton. And then for Toronto, Thaddeus Young. He's checked in for Precious Achua. And it's Otto Porter Jr. in for McDaniels. And he sinks the second. <laughs> and 
and he nails the third. Yeah, a lot of whistles here early, as well as foul trouble starting to be an issue. Schroeder outside. Great D that time from Tatum. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. They get it again. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Just doing the job on the backboard. Schroeder outside. Pass to Trent. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Now, here's Trent. Three-pointer. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for Boston. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. just tuning in. We've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And for the Celtics here, they've been putting on a show, guys. I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball, and defensively, boy, were they disrupted. Winning the turnover battle here early on, and you see that reflected in the score. Here's Tatum. The forwards for him, Tatum and Porzingis. Then it's Rob Williams. And it's Pritchard in at the point guard. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. Now, here's Ananobi. 17 points for him last game against Washington. It's good. Oh, Ananobi's got his Ananobi. first points in this one. That in-between shot can be difficult to gauge, but OG judged it perfectly. Over to the wing. Outside Williams. The Celtics working the ball around now. And there's the pass to Mikhailu. Over Porter. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Siakam's got four rebounds now tonight. To the middle. Porzingis with the block. And with that 7-6 wingspan, Porzingis has always been a big-time shot blocker. Great. You look at the size of some of these point guards now. Magic Johnson would feel right at home. Yeah, it's a part of a larger trend with all the switching defensively. If you have just one smaller guy on the floor, he is going to get targeted. That free throw good from Thaddeus Young. And very quietly, Young just continues to be an efficient player. A multi-talented swingman who does a little bit of everything. Barnes, he's jacked in for Porter. Oh, free throws. Good from Thaddeus Young. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Here's Pritchard, defended by Trent. Passes it to Tatum. Launches a three. Second shot opportunity. Sinks it. And the shot from Porzingis. And talk about persistence. Porzingis just being a bully on the offensive glass and punishing the opposition. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Well, back in grade school, when Jason Tatum told folks his NBA goals, they'd often suggest a backup plan. And he said, I always would tell them, I don't have one. I'm going to make this work regardless. Nothing else matters. Kevin? Oh, I like that. It's worked out, David. Thanks so much. And a little contact won't go a long way against Porzingis. What a display of physicality. Pass to Siakam. 
fades. Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has got seven rebounds in the game. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Now here's Barnes. Jason Tatum missing his last shot. Barnes passes to Siakam. And it's off from three-point range. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 25. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never OG. give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Greg, one thing you know, you're getting with Gary Trent Jr. Volume three-point shooting. He lets it fly. And he is really fearless at the arc. I think because of his consistency. And when he gets hot, well, he can get on a burn. Pass to Trent. Now, here's Ananobi. Not a lot of room, and he overshot that one, missing. And not a night he's going to want to remember, just not really able to score the basketball. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. Now, here's Siakam. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against the Wizards in Washington. Barnes outside. Four on the clock. Toronto needs to get off his shot. Young with no one around. No dice from the high post. Celtics leading by 22. Last break. Here come the Raptors. Drops in the breakaway lane. Ananobi has got seven points here in this quarter. Using his defense to generate his offense. OG being rewarded for his hustle out there. Williams passes to Mikhailu. Outside Tatum. Outside, Brzingis. Lock at six. Here's Pritchard. Traps in the tray. Pritchard's got five points so far. And that hit takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. The pass to Siakam. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Boston ball. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. You look at the Raptors. They're having a solid season. Fifth in the conference and looking to move up. And, of course, Boston, two games back. And for the Raptors, they've made such fantastic progress this season. To see them so close to the top of the standings at this stage, what a surprise. Well, it's not surprising to them. Since day one of this season, these players and coaches have said they view themselves as one of the league's top teams. And it looks like they're right there. Uh, he was red hot in the first quarter. Hit three threes. Now suddenly struggling to find the range. Kicks to Williams. Tatum passes to Pritchard. Outside, Brzingis. Trills the three-pointer. Ten points in the game so far. And when you rank stretch bigs, you have to place Porzingis toward the top of that list. This guy is a pure shooter at 7-3. Toronto calls timeout. And coach most likely wants to address their turnover issues. The offense looks forced right now. Rush, there's no synergy to it. They have to find a way to work together and remain aggressive without making mistakes. Jalen Brown's checked in for the Celtics. Delano Benton comes in for Mikhailu. Raptors also changing it up. Akiberto comes in for Thaddeus Young. And it's Achua in for Pascal Siakam. Austin's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Fades back. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And the soft touch for a guy for Zingas' size. He shoots it so well from the mid-range. Here's Barnes, and the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Brown outside. And the Celtics another three. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Toronto's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Here's Trent. Williams with the block. 
a, a main staple in Williams' game. That sixth sense for when to rise up and deter those shots. And the shot goes in from Chris Dapps, Porzingis. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Barnes. Nine points in the game so far. Williams with the clock. Brown drives in. Toronto grabs the miss. Barnes kicks to Trent. Hits it from three-point range. Trent's got five points now this quarter. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an Robert illegal screen. Williams, third A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Malcolm Brogdon. Maybe, well, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for the Celtics. And Toronto also making a switch. Schroeder's checked in. Dennis. Count that bucket. Schroeder. Not one to back down inside. Schroeder likes to get right into the teeth of the defense. Here's Panton. 11 points for him in that last game against Detroit. And Porzingis gets it to go on the assist from Brogdon. Brogdon's got his third assist on the night. Schroeder up top. He's guarded by Brogdon. Down low. Here's Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. Gary Trent Jr. His Gary teammate was Trent so open, Jr. he could have passed it with his eyes closed. Brogdon kicks to Brown. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Brown's got 11. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Here's Trent, and it's denied, and he recovers it, and that one's Dennis good. Schroeder. Schroeder. Assist goes to Gary. Austin's gone four Junior. seven on three point shots in the second quarter. Here's Brogdon, and he makes good on the way. Brogdon's got his third basket of the night right there. Not just a shooter. Brogdon can mix it up inside. Very determined. Here's Barnes. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Passes it to Williams. He dishes it to Brown. In the corner, it's Brogdon. Shot clock at five. Takes a three. Buries it from three-point range. He's got 11. Oh, he's heating up here now in the second quarter. Watch out. Schroeder against Brogdon. Here's Achua. Rebound by the Celtics. Persingas has got nine rebounds now tonight. Brogdon finds Williams. Back to Brogdon. And Pirtle pulls it down. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. Two minutes remaining in the first the Schroeder. Two minutes. Pass to Achua. The fader. Pirtle shot is off. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Trent against Brogdon. Brown outside. Shoots over Achua. It's deflected. Here's Trent. That shot, no good. Good D by Brogdon. Here's Persingas. And Pirtle sends it back. Great defense by Pirtle. A seven-footer who knows how to use his length. The whole team's changing it up here.
Brown the pass to Brogdon. Horford against Boucher. Now the pass to Primo. Six to shoot. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got five rebounds tonight. Porter passes to Boucher. Here's Schroeder. That one's good. Just Dennis. his third make. Schroeder. Brings him to three for eight in this game. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. It's Brogdon on the wing. Outside, Horford. Here's Primo. Scoreless thus far. Rawls knocked loose. Porter with the steal. Rebound, Boston. Berzingis kicks to Brown. Here's Primo. Offline with his three. Here's McDaniels. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, it hasn't been close. Austin on top, just dominating this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. And it feels good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Jay, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was all Jason Tatum in the first quarter. He ended up with 22 points, two assists, and one block. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? Well, they were completely in rhythm shooting the basketball. Just watching the flow of their offense, everything clicked into place. Fantastic shot tonight. They took advantage of everything the defense gave them. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? They're getting abused in the paint defensively, letting their opponents set the tone. You can't match up physically, you're toast. That's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And you know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. Yeah, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. He's been vital to spacing the floor for them. Makes everything else you want to do easier to accomplish. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. So the Raptors five right now. Big men in the four for him. It's Siakam and Pirtle. Ananobi out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Barnes with the three. Keep getting it to this man. I mean, once Porzingis catches fire, there is no putting that out. Barnes looking around. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. He goes on Jason Tatum. First team foul. The 2022 Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes. But you know what, Greg? Still working to take that next step. What do you think is his key? Kevin, that's an easy one. It's going to be perimeter shooting. You know, we, we get spoiled with all the other things he can do. And he's had a tremendous start to his NBA career. But I think to become that superstar, the jump shot has to become a weapon. That's good from Barnes. Hey, Steve, when we look at Scotty Barnes, what excites you about his play? 
I think for me, Kevin, it's just him improving. He can pretty much do everything well already. He's still got so much time to keep growing. Barnes hits them both. The future that Scotty Barnes has in this league is bright. A versatile swingman with an outstanding work ethic. Now here's Brown. It's good. Get that basket is now five for nine. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. And the basket is good. Yes. Schroeder's got eight. We talk about Schroeder's toughness. Just shrugs off the hit and keeps on going. Porzingis passes to Brogdon. It's good. Now terrific game plan coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three from the field. Here's Schroeder. It's over Brogdon. And the dunk by Pirtle. More of a Assist score first point guard, but Schroeder Dennis. doing a good job Schroeder. of finding the open band. Schroeder against Brogdon. Williams passes to Tatum. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Siakam's got his sixth rebound on the night. Even though that one didn't go down, I like the offensive game plan here. Three for four coming out of the break. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Tatum with it. Now guarded by Verda. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Baiting the defender into a foul. Tatum wants to get to the line where he has always been terrific. The Celtics have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And the first one drops. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The Raptors have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Here's Siakam. Nice D from Porzingis. You want to talk about ugly? This team is losing, partly because he hasn't drained a shot all night. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Now here's Barnes. Jason Tatum missing his last shot. And it's good for two. Scotty Barnes. Barnes has got 15. Terrific at both ends of the floor tonight. Barnes showing why this team is so excited about him. Brogdon kicks to Porzingis. And another miss by Boston. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Schroeder. A shot that time, not on target. Good D by Brogdon. Brown finds Brogdon. And Pirtle sends it back. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Scotty Barnes. And we'll see Robert Williams go to the line here. Scotty Barnes picks one up. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Achua, he's checked in for Toronto. You know, he just plays with such tenacity on both ends. Well, Williams is a rising talent who wants to prove he belongs. Now here's Schroeder. Eight points for him. The rebound by the Celtics. Williams has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Tatum. Williams trying to break free. A nice shot by Tatum. Tatum's got four points this quarter. 
And there's the frame being put to use by Tatum. He knows he's dangerous down low. Bounce pass, Schroeder. Here's Siakam. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Well, the NBA is looking to expand its footprint, and a franchise south of the border could potentially hold tremendous appeal. Commissioner Adam Silver said Mexico City is the largest city in North America. It could also be a gateway to all of Latin America. The opportunity to flip a switch in terms of opening up a large geographical area to NBA interest. Kevin? Mm, that's interesting. Thanks, David. Achua. And boy, that looked like Holton. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. So on the close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Makai looks checked in for Przingis. Delano Banton comes in for Jalen Brown. And it's Pritchard in for Brogdon. Trent's checked in for the Raptors. Williams passes to Pritchard. Driving in. Good work defensively by Trent. And so it's Trent with it. He brings it up for Toronto. Ananobi kicks to Barnes. Free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And now look at Jason Tatum. What a run he's been on over the past few weeks. And ranked among the top ten in scoring. He can fill it up with the best of them. And back to what you said. Top five in steals this year. Quick hands and, and great anticipation. Shoot two. First free throw is good. Al Horford is checked in for Williams. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Kicks to Tatum. And there's a whistle. That goes on Scotty Barnes. That's foul number two for him. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Tatum passes to Banton. Nice ball movement by Boston. Tatum down low. Siakam's there. Yeah, another turnover. But guys on the whole, I think they've done a great job of running their offense without too many miscues. And it's blocked. To the paint. A nice shot by Tatum. Tatum's got 28. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Boston. What I love and the coaching staff has to love is the defense. They've really brought the energy with all these blocks we've seen in this one. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy points, boy, they just jump at it. Now here's Tatum following the miss by Scotty Barnes. Horford, no luck. The Raptors shooting is leaving something to be desired. Just 36% here in the third quarter. And here is Barnes. 17 points in the game. Shot clock at six. Trent outside. Passes to Ananobi. Fades away. Benton with the rebound. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. A shot by Pritchard, no good. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy OG. one to a tough one. And and you know, technically, it's a high percentage look, but this is why we play the game. And with the move to positionless basketball, wing players with the size and strength of OG Ananobi tremendously in demand. 
You need a guy who can hang with all the superstar wings defensively. And OG has a better shot than most. A shot by Pritchard, no good. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Controls the rebound and wow. puts it back up and in. Look at the effort from Pascal Siakam on the offensive glass. Keeping that play alive and finishing it. Here's Banton. Still yet to score. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Celtics making a switch here. Primo's checked in. Then for the Raptors, Thaddeus Young. He's checked in for Achua. Chris Boucher comes in for Pascal Siaka. And McDaniels subbed in for Scotty Barnes. The Celtics have gone 7-15 from the field here in the third quarter. Pass to Primo. And here is Tatum. Here's Banton. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. That one goes. Count it. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. Now Trent. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got six rebounds in the game. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Here's Primo. McDaniels defending. The shot by Primo, no good. And for the Raptors, they're shooting poorly, just 35% so far. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Pass to Primo. Here's Banton. Side Horford. And again, Boston with the triple. And that's how you want to get Horford his touches within the flow of the offense, preferably right off the catch. Trent with it. Ten points for him. And the pass to Ananobi. The jump hook. And it's Primo with the rebound. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. Manton, the pass to Horford. Passes it to Primo. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now, here's Hananobi. Nine points in the game so far. No good off the back of the rim. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their calls. Primo, the pass to Horford. There's a minute 47 left to play in the third. Here's Mikhailu. And McDaniels with the block. Trent up top. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. Austin making a switch here. Porzingis is checked in. And Toronto also making a switch. Porter's checked in for Ananobi. There's a minute 34 left in the third. Porter finds Trent. Now, McDaniels, just five on the clock. They need this, and it's sent back by Horford. And still capable of being your defensive anchor. Horford is excellent at positioning himself to block shots. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points, and he's producing. Now, here's Trent. He's got 10. Pass to Young. To the middle. Here's Porter. Gets it to go from eight Porter. feet. Porter's Assistant got his first eight. points of the night. I like this strategy, getting Porter into the catch-and-shoot situation, giving him a chance to make a play. Pass to Mikhailuk. Yeah. 
for the three. They grabbed their own miss. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. Now here's Porter. Trent outside. Rebounded by the Celtics. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. Here's Primo. No good. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Celtics out in front. Running away with third. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Yeah, it's one thing to find the guy. It's another to deliver the ball where he can do something with it. Wonderful play. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And it's Primo in at the shooting guard position. That's the Boston Five. Schroeder dishes to Young. Misses from short range. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Here's Pritchard. Got a hand on it. Schroeder outside. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. And here's Boston. Here's Pritchard. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. So, Steve, you were drafted by the Heat. Young expansion team at the time down in Miami. But if you had to choose, which city would you give an expansion team to right now? I think Seattle and Las Vegas are at the top of everyone's list. San Diego would be nice because I love to travel there. I love when Vancouver had a team. How about bringing that team back, Kevin? Drawing contact inside. Dennis Schroeder using his reach and quickness to compensate for his height disadvantage. Shooting for Toronto. Dennis Schroeder. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And you know, Dennis Schroeder, from the moment he came into the league, showed tremendous confidence. He's never been the type to back down. Both shots good from the strike. The Celtics shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Primo, the pass to Pritchard. Here's Hauser. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Primo for three. Connects from three-point range. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Pritchard passes to Mikhailu. And the foul's on Mikhailu. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, first turnover of the game. Overall, though, he's been rock solid. And so Young will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Back to Schroeder. 
Good, and a nice assist Dennis. from Porter. Schroeder. Schroeder's got six here in this quarter. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. And the call is going to be... Yes, illegal yes, screen. it is. An illegal screen. Raptors ball. And GA start next season. Some big repeat penalties for teams well over the camp. That draft pick penalty is especially tough. Yeah, I mean, if a team is over that 17 and a half million mark twice in a four-year span, their first-round draft pick falls to the end of the first round, that'll sting. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. It's stolen by Schroeder. Now Dick. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Raptors. On Saturday, they continue the road trip. Heading out to Detroit, they'll take on the Pistons. And then on Monday, they'll face off against Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a, take a step take a forward. Sometimes Two tough shots. road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. First free throw is good. And you look at Grady Dick's physical gifts and you see it's all there. Size, length, careful training, and hard work could make him into something special. He hits both from the strike. And Greg, while the commissioner might not like player trade requests, Kevin Durant said it's great for the league for players to have that leverage. Where do you stand? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, the main thing is trying to keep those requests in-house. Otherwise, it can be deflating for fans. Fouls. First team foul. At the line for two, Sam Hauser. And he knocks down the first one. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Both good from the line that time. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Dick with it. There's the dish to Young. Here's Dick. Driving to the basket. Coloco, no good. Dick with the steal. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. And whenever Dick is getting a pass if he has any chance to get off a clean jumper you know it's going up here's Pritchard here's Hauser here's Primo again the miss by the Celtics and thus far they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively there's the pass to Schroeder inside here's Dick Tries again. Rebound, Boston. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. To the right side. Here's Cornette. Here's McKaylee. Six on the shot clock. From outside the arc. The rebound by Young. And even with good coverage defensively that time. He has confidence to Boston drill the three. Ball. In so many different ways, Dick gets the Second ball to his team. He's always on time and on target. 
At the line for the Raptors, Coloco. One shot. And the free throw, no good. The Celtics have gone 1 of 4 since the end of the third quarter. Cornett passes to Pritchard. Celtics passing it around. Hauser misses. In Toronto, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Schroeder kicks to Porter. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And now call the Celtics. Celtics. Man, coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Once again, Look for them to come out much more aggressive. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. Entertainment. Then against Schroeder. The shot by Brogdon, no good. And Schroeder's got the ball here for Toronto. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Brogdon against Schroeder. Trying to get something going. Brogdon the pass to Persingas. Now Tatum. Five on the clock. Here's Brown. Toronto grabs the miss. Pirtle's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Ananobi. And the rejection by Tatum. And look at Tatum turning up the defensive intensity, outworking the shooter. And he comes up with the deuce. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect him to. Pass to Brown. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Explosive Second in tight quarters. Ball. JB imposing Second his ball. will out there. At the line for your Celtics, Jalen Brown. Two shots. Relax on the first. No good on that one. A fearless athlete. Jalen Brown competes every single night on both sides of the ball. Something you want as a teammate. And Toronto making a change here. Nick Daniels checked in. He hits the second from the line. Now here's Schroeder. That's good. It's his seventh made basket in 14 tries. And Schroeder, undaunted inside, took the defense head on and made the tough shot. Brown kicks to Tatum. Busted. No good that time either. And still looking for his first triple of the second half. He had three at halftime. Count the basket. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Now, here's Brogdon. Brown outside. And the three ball is good. Brown's got four points in the quarter. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Brown against Ananobi. Schroeder outside. Siakam left side. Like at six. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got five assists in the game. Brogdon looking it over. Brown finds Porzingis. Now here's Brogdon. The 
kick out to Brown. And the Celtics another three. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooters. Brogdon against Schroeder. Pass to Ananobi. And here is McDaniels. Jacks up a three. And Boston with the rebound. Persingas has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Brogdon outside. Pass to Persingas. The three from Tatum. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's the three. Ananobi, no good. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. On the wing, Brown, covered by Siakam. With the fadeaway. And Porzingis gets it to go on the assist by Brown. Persingas has got 23. And you see the unselfishness right there. Brown wanting to keep his teammates involved. Williams with the block. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. Thaddeus Young, he's checked in for Toronto. And here's Schroeder. Knocked loose. Just five to shoot. Siakam outside. From past the arc. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got six assists now in the game. Primo, the pass to Brown. He takes it in. It falls for basket number nine for the field. He's taken 14 shots to get there. And, and Brown is so aggressive, a masterful penetrator who abuses defenders on the drive. Here's Schroeder. And Boston with the rebound. Great defensive effort. Just saves a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Now here's Williams. The pass to Primo. Now Schroeder. To the inside. Young. Rebound by Williams. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Celtics as one-sided as it gets today. You know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. So looking at the season total, this will be their 17th win. And really, they finally got something good to happen against this team. The last two games they faced them weren't nearly as productive. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Perzingis. No, there's a few ways to control a game, right? You can do it with pace. You can do it with patience and efficiency. Tonight, he did it by owning the boards. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. Young's shot is off. And it's the Zolich's ball. Here's Primo. And 
so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. We got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks, Kevin. KP, balanced offensive effort tonight. What did you like about how you played? I think uh, we played as a team. We shared the ball, and, and it was a team effort today. And uh, everybody was involved. Everybody was, was uh, playing good offensively. And uh, that's why we were able to come up with a win. Really looking good at both ends tonight, Kristaps. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.